tag video and I was tagged by Casey or it's Blondie to do the 10 products that I would repurchase tag video and I'm going to provide the link to her channel down below you should definitely check her out I really like her videos um, she's just really refreshing and down to earth and I really enjoy watching her videos so uh, definitely check her out and the basic idea behind this tag is that it is um, you know if you lost all of your makeup if it you know just spontaneously combusted or vanished into thin air for some reason um, or got stolen what are the 10 products that you would repurchase and I think this is actually a very telling video because it's essentially like what are your holy grail products that you can't that you can't really live without what would you go directly back to if you had to start fresh from from scratch okay so the first thing that I would definitely repurchase I would need some kind of foundation for this mug I decided to go with my Revlon Colorstay whipped cream foundation and my shade is 240 natural beige and I actually I went with this for two reasons I love this this is probably of all of my favorite foundations this is my most favorite that I found in a very very long time I just love everything about it and also it has such amazing coverage that I wouldn't need to like I don't need to use a concealer on my face with this just because it really blurs all of your imperfections I still do sometimes but if I lost all my makeup I figured I could just purchase this and then I wouldn't have to pick up a face concealer as well so that's why I picked this one and then I guess I would need a powder set it with so I figured I would pick up one that does double duty and that would be my benefit hello flawless custom powder cover-up and my shade is never settle petal I actually have to repurchase this soon uh, because I'm pretty much out and the reason that I would pick this one up is that I really can't wear a foundation like this without setting it with a powder it's more likely to transfer you touch your face and it has that makeup -y feeling I want it to be dry and soft to the touch and this one you can also wear alone as a powder foundation I just have raved about this stuff so many times I just think it's an amazing product sorry if I'm like blinding you guys with the mirror um, it just it's a powder but it doesn't look like a powder it doesn't look dry or cakey or anything on your face it's really unbelievable stuff I love it so I'll definitely go with this one also I would need an under eye concealer cuz you guys know I get crazy allergy shiners and they're very dark and scary for others so I would definitely go with my Revlon age defying concealer with DNA advantage and my shade is light medium I think yeah, light medium number two. I love this. I think that I would be able to go without an under eye brightener for those dark circles with this because it's just, it really conceals everything so well. It's super, super creamy and it's very, very pigmented so it totally just covers everything. And I usually do use an under eye brightener with it but I could definitely get away without one. So, love that. And then the next product that I picked out is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I could not be without this for very long. I was actually talking to my girlfriend not too long ago, and she was saying that applying eyeshadow just isn't the same without it. It's like, I totally agree with her on that, and it sounds kind of crazy, but I need this. I need this in my life. It provides a nice base for your eyeshadows. It evens out your lid. You can wear it just by itself without any eyeshadows, and it just makes you, I don't know, it pulls your look together a little bit more. And at first I thought, oh, I would need a, I would need an eyeshadow primer. But I don't have super oily lids, so I think that I could get away with just using this without a primer underneath. I don't know. I haven't been without this in like three years. So, just saying. I would definitely get this. The next thing is something to fill in my eyebrows with. I look super strange without eyebrows filled in. I have very light brows, as many of you know if you've seen any of my foundation routines. Literally picture me, picture me rolling like this. I look like an alien without my brows filled in. And I would probably just head to Target and purchase an e.l.f. eyebrow kit. This one is in medium and I do like this shade on me. Just one of these double sided eyebrow kits. This is a tinted wax and then a lighter setting powder and do, they do come with a double sided brush so I could use that as well I think I've lost mine <laughs> but um, this is a really nice I think this is like a dollar maybe a dollar or three dollars so it's a very inexpensive way to fill in your brows and I like the product and then see what else eyebrows 
Um, oh, eyeshadow. So I was watching a lot of these tag videos before I went to film it, which I usually do just to see kind of how other people, their thoughts on the tag video. And so many people were picking out their Naked palette from Urban Decay. Honestly, I don't think that would be the first thing that I would, if I could only get 10 things to start off, I don't think that would be the first one that I would run out to get just because it's, it's fairly expensive and um, I would just go for a shadow that I could wear every day regardless of the season or day or night or whatever. For me, that is, this is like my all time go to eyeshadow. This is Tempting by MAC and I love this so much. It is a golden brown with hints of bronze and it has a really nice shimmer to it. The great thing about this is that it creates a shadow in your crease area and it's a nice shimmery like I said, golden brown color on your lid. So it kind of looks like you're wearing more eyeshadows than you really are if you apply it in a certain way. So I really like this color. I don't feel like this gets talked about all that much, but it's such a great color. There's a little swatch of it for you. So that's definitely probably the first one that I would run out and get. Then I would definitely need an eyeliner. I don't wear liquid liner every single day. You see me wearing it a lot in videos, but I would probably just go for a pencil eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner, and it broke. <laughs> okay, so mine just broke, but if you could see it, you would see that it is a very, very intense, inky, jet black color. It's amazing. It transfers super easily, so there's never any tugging. It's really creamy formula, and uh, you can wear it in your waterline or on, you know, along your lash line on your lid. This is an amazing eyeliner, and I would definitely recommend anybody give this one a try. It's really awesome. And then I would need a blush, so I would probably go with my NYX Mocha blush, and I'm just completely 100% obsessed with this. I love it and I think it's an amazing color. This would look beautiful on so many different skin tones by the way if you're curious. It's a really nice coral, like a deep deep peach color and I would definitely get this one because I think it would go with them the biggest range of eye looks. You could wear it with a smoky eye or just a natural eye. Any kind of lip color. I'm wearing it today with this bright fuchsia this bright fuchsia lipstick so I think it works with a lot of different things and also I was thinking originally I would definitely want to get a gloss but I'm assuming if I lost all my makeup I wouldn't have any other lip products either and I have chronically severely dry lips it's a problem so I definitely need some kind of lip balm and I can't live without my Smith's lip balm and minted rose it actually got kind of melted over the summer. I left it in my car or something so it did get kind of melty. As you can see it's a little lopsided but I would definitely go with this one because it is super conditioning. I would say as conditioning and healing as Blistex or Carmex or something like that and it also has that hint of color too which definitely does show up on your lips so it kind of acts as a lip balm and a little bit as a a gloss as well like a very sheer gloss so I love this stuff. I found it at Sephora. And then I would definitely need a mascara just because I have very light lashes. And you guys might be a little surprised by the one that I chose. I've been raving about my Maybelline one by one for a few months and using it nonstop. And I also love my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, but that's a little pricey. So just initially, I think that I would go get this CoverGirl Lash Blast volume. And I recently went back to it. And I'm really loving it. And just in this moment today, right now, if I had to go get 10 products, it would probably just be this. Because I'm really loving the very black color. It's just so dark. And I like the wand. It's just a nice, um, it's a nice departure from the very toothy wand that the Maybelline one by one has. So it's just a really great mascara. It is what I'm wearing today on my lashes. So those are the 10 products that I would repurchase. If, forbid, I lost all my makeup, what would we do? What would we do if that happened? Cry. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm not going to tag anybody specific, but I'm just going to tag all of you guys watching so you can film it if you want to. And um, always feel free to post a video response if you like. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.